Yeah. Okay, so in the last class uh, we are discussing about web server, IBM HD server we have installed and we integrated with the DMGR profile and plugin file also we have done. So we done some administration tasks starting and stopping we deployed the application at web server level and we access the application also in the last class. So today we will see monitoring. So uh, monitoring is uh, it is continuous job. So being an administrator, we have to monitor the servers. So whether the server is up and running. So whether if you have any problem, we have to troubleshoot. So in that case, so continuously 24 plus 7. So we have to monitor. We have to monitor continuously the servers. Okay. So but in real time. So the administrator, uh, it is it is uh, it is not easy job to monitor all the servers because we have lot of servers. To, I mean, lot of environments like DMGR profile and application server profiles. Lot of servers is there, so we cannot go and monitor each and every server manually. Okay, that's why we use some third party tools to monitor uh, the WebSphere application server okay so the third party tools we have uh, many third party tools like we have some third party tools like application manager HP Vivo HP Open View T TM Art Nagios Okay so like this we have uh, different monitoring tools so it depends on client it depends on client and project so they will maintain the I mean uh, these type of monitoring tools okay I know only these four okay so these four are the general monitoring tools so I'm using application manager okay so using this application manager third party tool we can manage I mean we can monitor WebSphere application servers, we can monitor operating systems, database servers, okay, and we can monitor applications also. So many features under application manager third party tool. Okay. So now I'm going to install in this my mission. So this is the software, it is freeware, you can also download in your mission, you can utilize okay this is windows uh, windows software and we can have linux software also so uh, to download this file go to google type manage engine manage engine application manager so you can download directly okay so whatever you want Linux or Windows which version you want you can download and I have downloaded uh, the Windows version so I'm going to install this one double click on this The version is Manage Engine Application Manager version 12. Click on Next. Here, uh, License Agreement, click on S yes. and choose the language English by default English. 
click on next and use a free license here okay so this is 30 days trial and then click on next and this is the path c drive manage engine app, app manager 12 so in this path the software is going to be installed and click on next and next this is the port number so on 80 on 1990 the uh, the server will run the application manager so server will run on 1990 port click on next and here click on next and next so now it is installing